Hello and welcome back to the Reg Up Yourself podcast with me, your house, the future man and people. I have got a member of the most renowned production band in the all of Europe, Gary from House of Freedom. Good evening, Gary. How are you? Yes, blessings, man. Thank you I'm so much. Everything good. Everything good. That's brilliant. Thank you. It's really nice to meet you and thank you so much for agreeing to have a chat with me this evening. It's um, sure. very nice. Um, I love House of Freedom and I want to know more about House of Freedom, you know what I mean? So, yes. House of Freedom is from Austria, right? Right. All of and, the band is based in Austria. Okay. Yes. And um, all of you born and raised in Austria? No. No. The keyboard player is born in Bangladesh, but he's living in Austria now for, uh, I think, 30 years now. So he's Austrian citizen now. <laughs> okay. And what, what, yeah. what's his name? Paves. Paves. Paves Soyet. Okay. And um, the drummer? Sam Gilly. Sam Gilly. And I'm from Austria, right? Oh, everybody from Austria. Okay. Sam Gilly right. from Austria. I tell you, I'm gonna let you name, I'm gonna let you name the rest of the band and what they do. <laughs> I think that makes yeah. more sense. So we have Sam Gilly who is like the band leader and the drummer. Yes. Pavel Soyet, who is the keyboard player, Herb Pirke playing the guitar. Yes. And me, I'm Gerald Schaffhauser. And there is also Manfred Scheer. We both share the bass part, you know? Okay, yes. There's actually two bass players on House of Rhythm. <laughs> That's explained. The bass is very good, though, so you guys are very good. So yeah, I mean, the rhythms are incredible, you know what I mean? Like I said, I'm lucky enough Gift to dogs, work with House of Rhythm quite a few times, and I testify that House of Rhythm is an amazing band. Um, so how long have you guys been together? So House of Freedom, the band uh, started, Sam started the band in 2004. Okay. And it's not quite the people started back then. It's him yes. and some other guys. Yes. And Parvest joined, I think, in 2004. And Herb joined in 2006. Yeah. Yes. And so then me, you? I joined in 2012. Okay, so... 2012, all... I joined, yeah. So Sam is like the original first band member that from the beginning of it. Yes, he and, started all this. Yes, and then but all of you guys been been um, in the band for a long time. Then even yourself. Yes, Mia started in 2012, yeah. and the guys all already played for 10 years when us came in. <laughs> so. Yeah, how was that? How was that? Whoa, it was like. You know, Manfred, the other bass player, yeah. he is a beekeeper. Yeah. <laughs> and so in summertime, he is really stressed out with his other job as a beekeeper. Yes. And then he called me someday and was like, okay, uh, what are you planning to do next summer? <laughs> you want to <laughs> join House of Freedom instead of me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so and since then, we, we, we split parts. So if Manfred hasn't got enough time, I play. And if I don't have enough time, Manfred plays. So, Okay, so you guys got a good thing going. Yeah. There. So yeah. I've, I've seen Manfred that... and I grew up in the same village. Okay, what's the name of your village? Yeah, it's a really small village in Lower Austria called Sankt Veit an der Gölsen. <laughs> okay, I won't try to pronounce that. <laughs> yeah, but, no stress, no stress. But yeah, <laughs> no, basically, so you always are you are you always into reggae music before joining the band? Me personally, actually not. Okay, I I come from the rock music actually. <laughs> okay. and I start I started to play in a band with the former guitar player from House of Freedom. Okay. He is called Johannes Maria Knoll. Yeah, he's the he started with House of Freedom as a guitar player in 2003. Yeah, and he quit the band in 2006. Yeah, and he had like a rock and roll mix up with reggae music band. Yeah, and I joined that band. And okay. someday he he was asking me, "Hey, you want to play reggae music?" And I was like, "Okay, why not?" Yeah. <laughs> so, 
and then I joined him playing with a local artist called Lukasha. Yeah. And then we played a support gig. Yeah. Uh, we did the supporting gig and House of Freedom was doing the main show with a German artist called Ganjaman. Okay. Ganjaman. And that's, that's, yeah. And that's where I first met all the House of Freedom people. Yeah. Okay. And, yes. And then uh, you've just been working with them since that. Yeah, then it was like Manfred saw me playing with this yes. reggae band and yes. it was like, okay, he can play reggae music. Oh. Let, I asked him if he want to do my job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, so basically you guys have worked with some amazing artists, right? Some amazing true, true. reggae yeah. artists. Give me, give me some of the name of the, you know, just for the listeners, for the, because I do, I do know some of the artists you guys yeah. work with, but for those people who are going to watch this interview for the first time, who don't know um, as much about House of Rhythm yet, tell me some of the mm. names of some of the people that you guys work yeah. with. So in the last few years, we work mainly with Anthony B. Mm -hmm. We also played live with Michael Rose, Johnny Osborne. Phantom Mojo, Don Penn, Itana, Perfect Giddy Money, you know, yeah, that's, list that, goes on and on. That That is incredible. That is yeah, absolutely man. incredible. Those are some massive people. What is it like, though, for coming out of, um, you know, from a rock scene and then into reggae, then all of a sudden you start to meet and actually going on stage and playing with these amazing people? What does that feel like? Yeah, you know, actually, it was for me like they they called me and say, "Come on, on, come with us on tour." And I yeah. went on tour with them. I went in the bus. I actually didn't know anything about them, about <laughs> the artist I'm going to play with. <laughs> so the, my first tour was with Phantom Moja. Yeah, where were you? And where was that? We tour went on stage in Europe, and I played, and was like, okay. Where was that tour? The whole Europe. My first show was in Munich. Okay. Wow. In whole Europe. Oh, that's amazing. So it was like a four week tour. Yeah. And that's... after two weeks, yeah. they had a show in Vienna and Manfred played the show in Vienna. Yeah. I went there, listened to the show. The next day I stepped on the bus and did the rest of the tour. <laughs> <laughs> and my first yeah did you feel like did you feel like you made the right move leaving rock music to come and play of reggae course. My, i mean i still play rock music though yeah. but my mainly music is reggae now yeah yeah i never thought kind of... about that when i was 14 years old never yeah. thought about that but now i love it i really got into it and yeah when i listen to music at home it's mostly reggae music now you're you're converted now. You're converted to yes, man. reggae. <laughs> so now is now is now it's um the table has turned. It's reggae first and then rock second. Yeah, man. That's a very good Cause... choice. <laughs> That's a yes. very good choice. <laughs> I think so too. Yeah, man. <laughs> yes, man. For real. For real. So um, what are some of the latest releases that you guys done as House of Freedom releases? So we actually did. You released recently an EP, oh yeah, which has a freedom tunes. It is actually it's really Man's great. Price. Yeah, yeah, man, oh, I yeah. really love it. By the way, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. And the whole LP we released so certainly with a an Austrian singer called Recall. Yeah, he did a unification album. It's called Unification, and he's only doing features on that album. So there is Anthony B on it, there's Turbulence on it, there's Perfect Guinimani on it, yeah. and some Austrian guys. Really oh, great thing. That's amazing. That's amazing. Good luck with that. And I really I would look forward to hear that, you know. I would love to yes, hear what that's It's really like. a great album. Rico is a really great singer. He's yeah. got such great hook lines. Yeah. I think I just really lost really style I think your line is on it. Your line, I just lost your line for a minute and your photo almost frozen. <laughs> Sorry, can you repeat that, please? Um, it said your connection is, okay. is unstable. 
watch uh, so million stars is also on it oh wow yeah he's a big one as well okay that's yeah million style that's a that's a wicked art yes and everything has rhythm rhythms so it's some every, all of the rhythm produced is the whole rhythm. album said, and yeah did you said all of the rhythm from that album is from house of rhythm yes yeah that's incredible that's amazing man yeah Actually, I don't know if really everything is from House of Rhythm, but Sam produced the whole album, so yeah. it's a House of Rhythm production, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, big up to Sam, man. I want to send special big up to Sam as yes. well. And big, up to, big up to all of House of Rhythm, but big respect for Sam, man. I've been linking with yeah, Sam of for course. a long time. He's a top guy, you know what I mean? So yeah, man. big respect to, to um, Sam. And I'm hoping one day when I'm on tour in Europe as well, I can get to play with House of Rhythm, you know? <laughs> I really hope so too, yeah, man. That would be amazing, you know what I mean? So, yes. basically, lots of releases, working with a whole lot of artists and a lot of great things to come. How are you guys coping with the lockdown, with the coronavirus and the lockdown? Because you can't do any gigs now. How, why are you coping, coping with that? Yeah. Yeah, as you said, we haven't played for a year now, actually. Mm -hmm. um, we did some online things where we recorded at home some video session or something. Yes. But yeah, we record a lot in studio. So everybody from our band has its own studio at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and in the, fir in the first lockdown in March last year, yes. where in Austria was the first lockdown, we recorded like... 20 rhythms in one month so oh, we're good working amazing yeah. yeah man big respect for that man obviously i've heard it's like so many of them were absolutely incredible you know what i mean yes. so basically you guys just like now just waiting to get back out on stage and start touring again yeah yes yes of course you mean yeah. it's hard because we normally play festivals yeah. and getting a lot of people together is really difficult now it is and yeah. on the other on the other hand it's like for us to travel no way no 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 it's the <laughs> same thing i think it's like the same thing here yeah. in, in the uk and around the world you know nobody can travel mm. so you know but yeah you know while we so that's we're really still, hard. we still got life we still got life so we give we give thanks for that yes you know we give thanks for that true true so Gary. So normally we yes, continue. Yeah. Sorry, continue. So normally, normally we don't actually play a lot of shows in Austria because yeah. there's not much of a reggae scene here. But maybe yeah, and this year we have to play some shows in Austria. Yes, that's I heard <laughs> that we Austria, can't travel. I'm hoping to come to Austria one day. I heard that it's really beautiful there. I haven't been there, but I've heard that it's beautiful. You know. Um, so, but one it's thing for sure, really a beautiful country. Yeah. Yes, that's what I heard. But one thing for sure, some great um, musician come from Austria because you guys are testing testimony to Austria. You know, the music yes. is incredible. So, so I know that's I that's I know that much about Austria. You know what I mean? So, mm. yeah. So, bro, listen, Gary, thank you so much for joining me, man, and big love to the us for them. You know what I mean? Sending Blessings. love to all of you, man. And I look forward to see all of you guys one day. Um, yes. Is there, is there anything you'd like to say to all of the people that love House of Freedom and follow House of Freedom? Would you like to send them a message? So we're actually planning to do a new rhythm selection, mm -hmm. which you are on, you're on it too. Thank <laughs> so you, is it? <laughs> that's, yeah. yeah, man. That's yeah. Where, what we are planning to do next. Yes. And yeah. Show the people that reggae music can also be played by white musicians, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you guys are amazing. You guys are amazing, as I keep saying. You know Give what thanks. I mean. And I Give think thanks. music, the greatest thing about reggae music, reggae music is nothing to do with color. It's more about is either you, is either you yeah, have man. it or you don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? With reggae music, if you're good, yeah, if man. you're good, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? And you guys, it's all already, about the vibe. Sorry? It's all about the wipe. It's all about the wipe. The groove the wipe? and the wipe. I don't understand that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the wipe, you know? 
All about Driving the wife. Into the music, grooving to the music. Yeah, man. Okay, okay. Wife. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. you now. I got you now. It was the accent. I couldn't yeah. think of what you were saying. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Respect, man. So, so yeah, I look forward to catch you guys soon, man. Thank you so much for joining of me course. in the interview. And I will link up you guys soon. Give right? thanks. Yeah, Blessings. do that. Blessings. Bless up. Bless up. One love. Give thanks. Give thanks.